Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with the third part of the third unit differential equations. Here we will see how to solve a simple differential equation. I will also solve the questions from exercise 4 of CBSC handbook. Now before solving the questions from exercise 4, we will see the steps involved in solving some simple differential equations. The first case is if the differential equation is of the form dy by dx equal to a function of x. If the, the given differential equation is of this form, then we can rewrite this equation as dy equal to f of x dx. And now we can integrate both sides. On integrating both sides, we get integral dy equal to integral f of x dx or from this we get y equal to integral f of x dx plus arbitrary constant c. And now we can find the integral of the function of x using the known results of integration and known methods of integration to find the general solution for this differential equation. This is the general solution for this differential equation. And now we have the next case where dy by dx is equal to a function of y. If we have a differential equation of this form, dy by dx equal to g of y, then we can rewrite this as dy by g of y equal to dx or dx is equal to dy by g of y. Now we can integrate both sides. In integrating both sides, we get integral dx equal to integral dy by g of y or x is equal to integral dy by g of y plus an arbitrary constant c. This is the general solution of this type of differential equation. And next we have the third case where the differential equation is of the form dy by dx equal to function of x and y. Now, if this function of x and y, it can be written as a function of x, p of x, into a function of y, which is q of y. If you are able to separate the variables, then this is solving using variable separable. Here, what we can do is, we can write this as dy upon q of y equal to p of x into dx. Now we can integrate both sides. On integrating both sides, we get integral dy upon q of y equal to integral p of x dx plus an arbitrary constant c. Now this will be the solution of this differential equation. Although it is not mentioned in your handbook, this way of solving the differential equation is called variable separable method. Now moving on to the questions from exercise 4 of the CBSE handbook. Find the general solution of the following differential equations given in question 1 to 5. The first one dy by dx equal to e raised to x plus 1 into y. Here we can see that it is of the form f of x into f of y where the function of x is f of x into g of y where the function of x is e raised to x plus 1 and function of y is y. So, we can use variable separable method to solve this differential equation. We have dy by dx equal to e raised to x plus 1 into y. Or we get dy by y equal to e raised to x plus 1 into dx. Now, we can integrate both sides with both sides. On integrating both sides, we get integral dy by y equal to integral e raised to x plus 1 dx or this is integral dy by y equal to integral e raised to x dx plus integral dx. I have written this step only for clarification. This step is not necessary. Now, we are familiar with the results of integration. Integral dy by y is nothing but it is log mod y equal to Integral e raised to x dx is e raised to x. Integral dx is x plus x 
plus C. So, this is the general solution for this differential equation. Moving on to the next question, x raised to phi dy by dx equal to minus y raised to phi. Again, we have to separate the variables. Here we have x raised to phi dy by dx equal to minus y raised to phi or we get dy minus dy by y raised to phi equal to dx by x raised to phi. Now we can integrate both sides. Minus integral dy by y raised to phi equal to integral dx by x raised to phi. Now we know that integral x raised to n dx is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. So this Integral dy by y raised to phi is nothing but it is y raised to minus phi. So, it is minus integral y raised to minus phi dy equal to integral x raised to minus phi dx. So, it is minus y raised to minus phi plus 1 is minus 4 upon minus 4 equal to x raised to minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4 upon minus 4 plus c1. Let us write it as c1. So, from this we get y raised to minus 4 by 4 equal to if we bring this x raised to minus 4 by minus 4 to the other side we get plus x raised to minus 4 by 4 equal to c1. LCM is 4, it is y raised to minus 4 plus x raised to minus 4 equal to 4 c1. This 4 c1 we can write it as c. y raised to minus 4 we can write it as 1 by y raised to 4. Next raised to minus 4 is 1 by x raised to 4 equal to some constant c. Now let us take LCM. L LCM is x raised to 4 y raised to 4. So in numerator we have x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 upon x raised to 4 y raised to 4 equal to c or the solution is x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 equal to c into x raised to 4 y raised to 4. This is the general solution for this differential equation. Next question dy by dx equal to x, x plus 1 upon 2 minus y. So, we have dy by dx equal to x plus 1 upon 2 minus y. Using variable separable, it is 2 minus y dy equal to x plus 1 into dx. On integrating both sides, we get integral 2 minus y dy equal to integral x plus 1 dx. We can integrate directly also this is just for clarification. So, it is 2 times integral dy minus integral y dy equal to integral x dx plus integral dx. Integral dy is y minus integral y dy is y square by 2 equal to integral x dx is x square by 2. Integral dx is x plus let us say c1. Now, let us take LCM on both sides. 4y minus y square by 2 equal to x square plus 2x plus 2c1 by 2. These two twos will get cancelled. We get 4y minus y square equal to x square plus 2x plus 2c1. We can edit as some constant c. So, let us bring all these terms to the other side. We get x square plus y square plus 2x minus 4y plus c equal to 0. So, this is the general solution for this differential equation. Next question, x e raised to 2y minus 1 into dy plus x square minus 1 
raised to y dx equal to 0. So here we have x e raised to 2y minus 1 dy plus x square minus 1 e raised to y dx equal to 0. Let us take this term to the other side, transposing it to the other side. We get x e raised to 2y minus 1 dy equal to 1 minus x square into e raised to y dx. Now let us bring this e raised to y to this side. So we get e raised to 2y minus 1 upon e raised to y dy equal to 1 minus x square upon x dx. Now this e raised to 2y minus 1 by e raised to y is e raised to 2y by e raised to y minus 1 by e raised to y. So e raised to 2y by e raised to y is e raised to y minus 1 by e raised to y is e raised to minus y. dy equal to this is 1 by x minus x square by x. 1 by x minus x square by x is x dx. Now let us integrate both sides. On integrating both sides we get integral e raised to y minus e raised to minus y dy equal to integral 1 by x minus x dx. Now integral e raised to y dy is e raised to y minus integral e raised to minus y dy is minus integral e raised to minus y equal to integral dx by x is log mod x minus integral x dx is x square by 2. plus c. So this is e raised to y plus e raised to minus y equal to let us bring these two to the other side plus x square by 2 minus log mod x equal to c. So this is the general solution for this differential equation. Next question e raised to x into root of 1 minus y square dx plus y by x dy equal to 0. So this is the differential equation which is given. We need to find the general solution for this differential equation. We have e raised to x into root of 1 minus y square dx plus y by x dy equal to 0. So here we have e raised to x into root of 1 minus y square dx equal to minus y by x dy. Or it is x e raised to x dx equal to minus y by root of 1 minus y square dy. So we have done variable separable. Now we can integrate both sides. On integrating both sides, integral x e raised to x dx equal to minus integral y by root of 1 minus y square dy. Now let us integrate these two separately. Because for integral x e raised to x dx, we have to integrate using integration by parts. And for integrating uh, y by root of 1 minus y square dy, we have to use integration by substitution and then find the integral. So let us take this as 1. Consider integral x e raised to x dx, it is equal to here we have to use integration by parts. Integral x e raised to x dx is we can take x as the first function and e raised to x as the second function. So it is x into integral e raised to x dx x 
x into integral e raised to x dx minus integral derivative of the first function. Derivative of the first function is derivative of x into integral e raised to x dx into dx plus c. So, integral x e raised to x dx equal to x into integral e raised to x dx is x e raised to x minus derivative of x is 1 and integral e raised to x dx is again e raised to x. So, integral e raised to x dx plus let us write this as c1. c1. So, it is x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c1. This is integral x e raised to x dx. Let us take this as 2. And now let us integrate integral minus integral y by root of 1 minus y square dy. Let us take let i1 equal to minus integral y by root of 1 minus y square dy. Put 1 minus y square equal to t. As a result we get minus 2y dy equal to dt or minus y dy equal to dt by 2. So, this becomes i1 is equal to in place of minus y dy we can put dt by 2. Half integral dt upon root of 1 minus y square we can taken as we have taken as t upon root t. So, this is half into integral dt by root t is t raised to minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1 plus c2. So, these two twos will get cancelled. This is root t. So, this is root t plus c2 or i1 is root of 1 minus t square plus c2. Let us take this as 3. Now, from 1, 2 and 3, we have the solution. From 1, 2 and 3, integral x e raised to x dx is x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c1. x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c1 equal to minus integral y by root of 1 minus y square dy we have taken as i1 and we got the answer as root of 1 minus y square plus c2 root of 1 minus y square plus c2 or from this we get x e raised to x minus e raised to x equal to root of 1 minus y square. If we transpose the c1 to the other side we get c2 minus c1 which is again another arbitrary constant say c. So, this is the general solution for this differential equation. Next question. Find the equation of the curve passing through the point 1 comma minus 1 whose differential equation is xy dy by dx into x plus 2 into xy dy by dx equal to x plus 2 into y plus 2. So, here we need to find the equation of the curve that is passing through this point 1 comma minus 1. So, after finding the general solution we have to substitute x as 1 and y as minus 1 and then we have to find the particular, particular solution. Here we have x y dy by dx equal to x plus 2 into y plus 2. Let us collect all terms with y on one side. So, y by y plus 2 dy equal to x plus 2 by x dx. 
here I am adding and subtracting 2 in the numerator y plus 2 minus 2 upon y plus 2 dy equal to here x plus 2 by x is x by x is 1 plus 2 by x plus equal to 1 plus 2 by x dx. So here we have y plus 2 by y plus 2 which is 1, 1 minus 2 by y plus 2 dy equal to 1 plus 2 by x dx. Now let us integrate both sides. So on integrating both sides we get 1 minus 2 by y plus 2 dy integral of this function equal to integral 1 plus 2 by x dx. Now let us integrate this integral dy is y minus integral 2 by y plus 2 dy is 2 times log mod y plus 2 equal to integral dx is x plus integral 2 by x is 2 log mod x. plus c. Here let us collect the logarithmic functions on one side. This implies y minus x. I am bringing this x to the other side transposing. So it is minus x equal to 2 log mod x. When we bring this minus 2 log mod y plus 2 to the other side it becomes plus 2 log mod y plus 2 plus c or this is equal to here 2 is common we can take it outside 2 log mod x plus log mod y plus 2 plus c. Now this is of the form log a plus log b using the properties of logarithm we know log a plus log b is nothing but it is log a into b. So here 2 into log mod log x plus log y plus 2 is log of x into y plus 2, x into y plus 2 plus c. This is y minus x. Let us take this as 1. Now it is given, we need to find the equation of the curve which passes through this point 1 comma 1. Since 1 passes through 1 comma 1, 1 comma minus 1, we can substitute x as 1 and y as minus 1 and we can find c. Minus 1 minus 1 equal to 2 into log mod 1 into minus 1 plus 2 plus c or minus 2 equal to 2 into log of 1 into 1 which is 1 plus c this is 0. So, from this we get c is equal to minus 2. Therefore, from 1 y minus x equal to 2 into log mod x into y plus 2 minus 2. This is the solution of the given differential equation is the solution and this is the this is the particular solution for this differential equation because it does not have any arbitrary constants and we have substituted a value of x and y to find c. So this is a particular solution for this given differential equation. Next question, solve x plus 1 into dy by dx equal to 2xy given that y of 2 equal to 3. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. So using this, we have to find the particular solution. We have x plus 1 dy by dx equal to 2xy. Let us collect all terms with y on one side and x on the other side. 
So divide by y equal to 2x upon x plus 1 dx. Let us keep this 2 outside. Here we have x upon x plus 1. So let us add and subtract 1 in the numerator. Here we get dy by y equal to 2 into here x plus 1 by x plus 1 is 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 dx. Now let us integrate both sides. Integral dy by y equal to 2 times integral 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 dx. Integral dy by y is log mod y equal to 2 into integral dx is x minus integral dx by x plus 1 is log mod x plus 1 plus c. Here it is given y of 2 equal to 3. Given when x is equal to 2, y equal to 3. We have log 3 is equal to, here we are substituting x as 2 and y as 3. Log 3 is equal to 2 into 2 minus log of 2 plus 1 plus c. Or log 3 is equal to 4 minus 2 log 3 plus c. So from this we get c is equal to, when we take this minus 2 log 3 to the other side becomes plus 2 log 3 plus log 3 is 3 log 3 minus 4. So this is c. Therefore the solution is, therefore the solution is log mod y equal to 2 into x minus log mod x plus 1 plus 3 log 3 minus 4. So this is the solution of this given differential equation when x is 2 and y is 3 or y of 2 equal to 3. Last question, find the particular solution of the differential equation log of dy by dx equal to 3x plus 4y given that y equal to 0 when x equal to 0. So we have log of dy by dx equal to 3x plus 4y. This is log of dy by dx to the base e by the definition of logarithm. We have dy by dx equal to e raised to 3x plus 4y. By the definition of logarithm, if log a to the base e equal to m, then we have e raised to m equal to a. So this is the definition of logarithm. Using this definition, we have log dy by dx to the base e equal to 3x plus 4y. It means dy by dx equal to e raised to 3x plus 4y. And now it is very easy. Now we can use variable separable method dy by dx equal to e raised to 3x into e raised to 4y. So from this we have dy by e raised to 4y equal to e raised to 3x dx. So on integrating both sides, this dy by e raised to 4y, let us write it as e raised to minus 4y dy equal to e raised to 3x dx. Now we can integrate both sides. We get integral e raised to minus 4y dy equal to integral e raised to 3x dx. So integral e raised to minus 4y dy is e raised to minus 4y upon minus 4 equal to integral e raised to 3x dx is e raised to 3x upon 3 plus c. 
so from this we get e raised to 3x by 3 plus e raised to minus 4y by 4 plus c equal to 0. Now it is given y equal to 0 when x equal to 0 y equal to 0, x equal to 0 implies e raised to 0 by 3. It is 1 by 3 plus e raised to 0 by 4. 1 by 4 plus c equal to 0. Or here LCM is 12. 3 plus 4 plus c equal to 0. So, we get 7 by 12 plus c equal to 0 or c is equal to minus 7 by 12. Let us take this as 1 from 1 e raised to 3x by 3 plus e raised to minus 4y by 4 minus 7 by 12 equal to 0. So, this is the solution for this given differential equation. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.